Yo, what's going on, Phantom Thieves? I just wanted to talk to you guys about something that I've been thinking about. Um, do video games rely too much on nostalgia? Do video games rely too much on nostalgia? Um, man, so I've been playing video games. I was born in 1990. I've been playing video games since about 1994. It's been a long time. And one game that comes to mind when you talk about nostalgia is Pokemon. And what I mean by that is the Pokemon company relies, to me, the Pokemon company relies too much on nostalgia, which doesn't allow it to grow. And here's an example, because I like to back my stuff up with example, right? So Pokemon Red, Blue, Yellow, Gold, Silver, Crystal... Sapphire, Ruby, um, and Emerald. And then what came after that? Oh, Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. All four of those. Well, let's not... Okay, you know what? Wrong. Let's take out Red, Blue, and Yellow. But second gen up to fourth gen. What is one thing that kept people coming back? Of course, it was Pokemon, but they... Uh, they would always go back to using previous gens in their games. Gold and Silver did it when you went back to Kanto. I'm not complaining about this. I, I love the fact that we went back to Kanto. I wish more games would incorporate more regions into their games. But Pokemon Black and White came out, Gen 5, right? Black and White came out. And at this point, fans were complaining that the Pokemon company relied too much on old acts, nostalgia. So black and white came out. I love those games. They did something that Pokemon had never done up to gen five. There was no old Pokemon at all. Now, after you beat the game, you could get old Pokemon for post game, but up until the post game, you had to rely on completely new Pokemon. Completely new. And you... What I liked about that is it meant that you had to use different teams. No longer could you go back to your Squirtles, Bulbasaur's, Charmanders, your Totodiles, Cyndaquils, you know, the starters and all the early gen Pokemon, your Pidgeys and all that. Completely new Pokemon, which means you had to come up with completely new teams everything like that you know what the complaint was from the fans where's all the old pokemon and now that bugs me that bugs me because black and white got not destroyed people liked it but a big complaint was where's the old pokemon so we asked for developers to do new things we asked them to do new things and then, when they do new things, we complain. And you know what that does? Again, with Pokemon, after Gen 5, after Black and White, and they heard those complaints, they went back. Every other Gen afterwards has relied on nostalgia. And that's why we get half-ass attempts from gaming companies. Because they're like, they're like, we gave you what you asked for. And you guys complain. So we're going to give you what you what we know you want and what we know will sell. And then we'll complain again. So I don't know how to handle that. But I, I'll be the first to admit, I've done it. God of War 1, 2, and 3, I love those. I played Ghost of Sparta. I played uh, Chains of Olympus and Ascension. Didn't care for those as much, but the formula of how God of War was still the same. God of War 3 is my favorite. God of War 2018 came out. Fantastic game. But, and I, I think I'm valid in this. I liked God of War 3 a lot more than I did God of War 2018. Not for nostalgia, but because, and I guess that doesn't make me hypocritical in this, but the fighting was faster paced. You got different varieties of weapons. 
Now this 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 third point, this is this part is biased, but God of War 3 had better music. This is also objective, but the boss battles were more entertaining than they were in God of War 2018. I feel like there was a lot more button pressing and quick time events in God of War 2018. There's nothing wrong with that, but I don't prefer it, especially in action games like that. Now, in God of War 3, you did have them, but that was once you beat the once you beat the boss or an enemy, you finished them off with that. But the actual fighting itself was not relied on quick time. So, getting back to getting my dogs over there, she's dreaming. But uh, getting back to the nostalgia act. I do feel that a lot of games rely on nostalgia because it's what sells. And whenever, and I'm not defending game companies and how they do things sometimes, but there are a lot of times where they try things different and they get negative feedback on it. So then they're like, well, dang, y'all asked for something different. We give you something different and you turn on us. And I know the phrase, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But us as gamers... We've got to be a little more willing, in my opinion, we've got to be a little more willing to try new things, let games evolve. Because, like, with a lot of Pokemon clones, they don't tend to be much different. There are some different feats that even Pokemon doesn't do, but they tend to stay within the realm of Pokemon because they see that it works. It makes money. And as developers, they're trying to make money. Not saying their games aren't good, but they got to make money, right? They got to make money. So, I want to ask you guys. The, the whole point of this is to ask you guys. How far should nostalgia go when it comes to video games? Should it be a game or two? You know, a sequel or two? Or do you like the fact that games... I don't mind it when it's like subtle things, right? Like, I play the Elder Scrolls series. And um, I like when there's callbacks to other Elder Scrolls games. Little Easter eggs, stuff like that. But when a game relies fully on nostalgia to, just to sell it, but nothing's new, nothing's changed. And I guess it becomes tricky, because like I said, God of War, they, they changed the fighting count, but, but I... I in action games, I like fast pace. That's what makes me like Bayonetta, Devil May Cry, God, your, your original God of War trilogy. The stories weren't like superb, which that's subjective, but man, the gameplay was phenomenal. So, man, I want to know how do you guys feel about nostalgia being overused in video games? How do you guys feel about that? I, I do think developers need to try new things. You know, you don't want to use the same... You don't want to rely on the old on the old stuff too much because you'll never grow. But it is what works. So then it's like, fans also need to accept that gaming companies want to try new things. Like... The next Mass Effect, and it's funny because I'm looking at it right here, right? Bioware had tweeted out, or they put on their site, they were doing a little um, little information header about Mass Effect 5. I say 5 because Andromeda, if you want to count Andromeda as 4, but they said Shepard and friends, you know, thwarted the Reaper, you know, the Reaper invasion, but at the cost of Earth, blah, blah, blah. Then they deleted it. And now people are like, man, is, is Shepard going to be back? Like, how much how much more? If Shepard's back, the question for people is, how much more are you guys going to rely on Shepard in the game? Like, let it evolve. Then again, you look at Mass Effect Andromeda, new cast, new characters. The gameplay to me in Andromeda was phenomenal. The cast, eh, that was a different ball game. I wasn't too impressed with the cast. But... They did try something new, and I enjoyed Andromeda because the gameplay was really well done. The story left a lot to be desired, but the gameplay, 
And that's a lot of what a video game is. It's its gameplay. It was good. So, I just want to ask you guys in the comments, let me know. What do you guys think? Um, how much How much do you guys like nostalgia in games? How far do you think this should be taken? How much do you rely on it? You know, when do you say, you know what? We've done, like, Dragon Age. They did a great job. They refer, you know, they, they talk about the Grey Wardens. They... They talk about things that happened in Dragon Age 1, Awakening, and 2. But they didn't rely heavily on it. They built off of it to make something even better. And I believe that's what 4 is going to do. So, all in all, guys, nostalgia and video games, what do you guys think? What, what, you know, what do you guys think overall? How much nostalgia should be used? How many games should, personally for you, how many games should they rely on it? The mechanics, everything. How much should they rely on that to to carry their franchise? Or should they just be like, you know what, guys? As our fans, we're going to try something new and hope that you guys enjoy this. And even if not, just give us a chance. That's, I know I haven't made many videos for you guys lately, but this one really hit me. And I was like, man, that's a, that's a good one. So you guys let me know what you think, and I'll catch you guys in another video. I'm about to go live on Twitch. So go see me on Twitch and I'll catch you guys in another video. Also, if you guys want me to start talking about specific topics, if you want me to react to game trailers that I may not know about or you, you guys want me to see, let me know in the comments, alright? Arrow Leader of the Phantom Thieves, I'll see you guys later.